Here at ABC News Live, Prime is celebrating a milestone. Two years ago tonight, we launched our very first broadcast. That night was the Iowa Caucus 2020. And since then, we have brought you stories from every continent. All of those reports striving to fulfill the mission that we started two years ago to deliver some much needed context and analysis of the stories of the day and the stories that no one else is covering as we peel the onion on some of the most pressing issues and important topics of today and tomorrow. So as we turn two years old, we take a look back at some memorable moments as we look forward to the work ahead. Getting ready to race. Welcome to the show. Let's go. We made it. Thanks for having us on board. This is where it all happens. Everyone on Earth, whether you like nature or not, depends on this system. We don't believe that. It's like the Earth is on fire. Stop supporting a fascist president. I compare it to a world war. We are not the police. Is this America? Hey there, I'm Lindsay Davis. Thanks so much for streaming with us. It may have just been one governor's race in Virginia, but it has certainly sent shockwaves throughout the political landscape. It's one year since that really dark day in American history. I'm curious if you did know, are you suggesting that you would have attended? And two, uh, how did you not know? I was uh, unaware. Do you feel that this country treats members of the military with the respect that they're due? Well, I know that we don't do enough. Mr. Strickland, how are you feeling today? Scared. You were facing the death penalty? I wasn't about to plead guilty to a crime I had absolutely nothing to do with. Let's just call it what it is. This is wrong. I was trapped in a cell 24 hours a day. Instead of taking it as a health concern, they took punitive measures. It becomes this impossible cycle where people can't get out. It's so difficult to talk about. Sexual abuse is deep. It's time for accountability. Have you forgiven her? No. Never will? No. Why? Her biological mother, Norma McCorvey, was 22 when she found herself pregnant. It was a desire to terminate her pregnancy that led Norma to file a lawsuit against the state of Texas under the pseudonym Jane Rowe. It became apparent really quickly she wanted to use me for publicity. Wait a minute, is that me on the outside? Angela Yee is becoming Angela Yes when it comes to all things entrepreneur. A lot of times, coffee companies, you don't think about black people, but it is really something that we can be proud of. Free at last, free at last. Hands that speak volumes. Black American Sign Language grew from the roots of racism. I did get that sense of freedom from being able to incorporate who I was and how I wanted to communicate. At just 27 years old, she's now the first black woman tire changer to pit in NASCAR's top racing series. Let's do this one! People are like, oh, she sucks. What does it matter that she's black? And it's like, why wouldn't that matter? Gigantic infernos burning across Siberia on an unprecedented scale. It's total disrespect. <laughs> The Tongass was ground zero for massive clear cutting in the late 1900s. This is an opportunity for us to do it here again and provide jobs, revenue, and wealth. They're kind of ignoring all the jobs that are tied to what exists already. We're in the heart of what should be the pristine Amazon, and right over our shoulders is a sandstorm. Here at Silver Peak, they're not mining rock. They're farming lithium. We're calling it the white gold rush here in Nevada. Walking through Greenland's ice sheet. The melt here is accelerating and it's contributing to the rise in global sea levels. Farmers in this region tell us that they've lost about 95% of the corn here. It's a common sight in what's called the dry corridor. This marine forest captures more carbon than a tropical rainforest. This is where we can improve the environment and create nutritious food at the same time. It's the maze of coral, the heartbeat of the Great Barrier Reef that sustains the life here. And that heartbeat continues to be under attack from climate change. Thousands of migrants have crossed into Europe from Belarus in just the last few months. Poland and Lithuania have now moved to block the flow. But Belarus is refusing to take the migrants back. Each one is playing this miserable game with our souls. Are Uyghurs being sent back into China by countries? Yes. Against their will? Yes. They all lost contacts with fathers, mothers, or children who they claimed mysteriously disappeared in China. <laughs> This is where Belash believes the missing relatives of those desperate families we met 
were being held. What's happening in Honduras is um, an absolute collapse of the democratic institutions. There are people who are fed up and they're walking all the way to the U.S. in order to provide a better future for their family. They call it The Rock, <laughs> a safe haven teaching young people how to fight and how to pray. Lord, we thank you for the day. We thank you for this opportunity. Outside its doors are apocalyptic scenes. Hey, hon, are you okay? We saw drug use in broad daylight for blocks. Heroin addicts hunched over and lifeless. I've never seen this neighborhood as dark as it is. Dia de los Muertos. In English, it's Day of the Dead. Cielito lindo de contrabando. Música, por favor. Enslaved Africans are forcibly brought to Puerto Rico to towns like Loisa and Santurce, Bomba becoming a form of communication. You are claiming a space, a physical space, with your body. The symptoms of COVID. The carnage this virus has caused her reservation. I don't wish it upon anybody. They're trying to solve their problems here, but they don't realize what it does to rural Oregon. Political unrest has been growing in the state for decades. Today, Oregon's making a stand. Rather than trying to find compromise and bipartisanship, they would just rather leave the state and go hang out with the state that is more friendly to their uh, their ideals. We've trusted governors in our states. I could not disagree with that anymore. We want to make sure everybody pays the taxes that they owe. We can use history as a blueprint to do better. It's hard, obviously, to pick one moment that is your favorite. Rick Allen has been the drummer of one of the best-selling rock bands of all time, with mega hits like Pour Some Sugar On Me. Then you buy a Corvette. Ah, yeah. The seatbelt took my arm as I was flying out through the car. It was really cool to be around someone who had been through something very similar to myself, losing an arm, and still being able to smile. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna do it again. <laughs> we should have done that a long time ago. Compelled to join this mission. I think that's a fantastic idea. Still working on it? Each and every day. I'm Lindsay Davis. Thanks so much for streaming with us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.